And today you're going to be joining me for a day with me. So from waking up all the way through exploring the Obot Obot together and just having a beautiful day. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. diamonds they're very good for prosperity and for good luck in uh, business or if you do want to do any adventure um, and <laughs> yeah, for new any new business ventures and actually I was wearing this is my Citroen ring with diamonds and I was wearing this one when I met the uh, princess of India in Monte Carlo and there's an interview with her on my channel so you guys should check it out so I really believe in the power of stones and soon you'll also be able to see them in my shop I'll have a bunch of jewelries and if you guys are in um, Bali you should definitely check out this factory because it's so unique and has the best quality jewelry both in gold and silver from the best suppliers and it's actually most of it is made here in Bali so by the locals so I love to support a very good um, you know business ethics and the owner also helps the villagers also and it's a very generous person so it's good both beautiful products and a good cause so I recommend you guys visit this place
today is the green day. Yes, yeah, the green day. Green, green, like green, green, yes. green. Yes. And this okay. green day. Those are pretty too. Um, you want to advise me? Green colors, more okay. Oh, look what it says here. Sweet dragonfly. dragonfly. So this is apparently the... Let's put it together, you know, with the necklace, actually. Can you help me? So I can't wait to show you the pieces that I got and the experience was amazing. The staff were so helpful to me and when you guys are in Bali you should definitely check out this place because it's just so extraordinary and there's a beautiful made of silver dragon inside that you cannot buy. It's only here in Bali so there's a museum that you also have to check. So see you in the next vlog. to the place that has a lot of tourist attractions like I was explaining before the coffee plantation and the swing like the popular travel blogger place so it's in the rice field and it's very beautiful down there and I will show about what they have here so later you can get some tea and coffee down there but the first you can see the process how to make the coffee okay so where are we now this way place where are we it is the Kumulile Kumulile yes Kumulile that the name of this place is mine of nice brace nice brace yes. okay so let's go <laughs> okay. 
my first time in Bali. It is first time in Bali, yes. so welcome to Bali. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for here. Thank you. I think this life is better. <laughs> so, I have a question. How long has this been uh, here, this area? The, this area it is uh, already five years. Mm -hmm. It's already five years. And this, actually, it is like a coffee plantation here. Wow. Was it difficult to make it in the middle of jungle? A bit difficult. Here. A bit difficult, yes. yeah. <laughs> because I was gonna say, it's, you know, yeah, in the middle of a place, and how do you make everything? You have to cut everything. Yeah, the... so. Are there any snakes in Bali? Yes, yeah, sometimes, but here is not, but not so dangerous. Not so dangerous. Not dangerous. I, I, don't <laughs> I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. You guys, do my followers like snakes? <laughs> Some of you? Or not? And over here, let me again see. Uh -huh. Animal over there. Uh -huh. So, have you heard about Lua coffee before? No. Lua coffee is the coffee come from the poo of the animal. Oh, the that's the. Coffee. Is this the most expensive coffee in the world? It is the, the most world? expensive coffee in the world. And what's the name of that coffee? Lua coffee. Lua coffee. Lua coffee. Guys, this Lua coffee, it's so actually so delicious. Right. I tried it and I think it was like uh, for 100 grams, it was so much. How many dollars? Yes. And here it is, we sell like a 60 gram. 60 gram it is around uh, 300. It is about 10 dollars or 15 dollars. Okay, wow. Yeah. For 60 grams. 60 grams. I think, I think, guys, in America, it's something like for 100 grams, 100 grams, it's about 600 dollars. 600 dollars. Something like that, because it comes from yes, Indonesia. Yes, from and here is the price you can get like more cheaper than the other country. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what do we have <laughs> next. <laughs> oh wow, hibiscus. It is the hibiscus. Hibiscus, and right? And it yeah. is the coffee tree. Uh -huh. That's how the coffee grows. Wow! So that is the coffee, and that's one on the right side. It is the cacao. Cacao, chocolate. yeah, yeah, yeah. This one I saw <laughs> because I love. I'm a big chocolate fan, chocolate so fan. I always like these chocolates, yeah. and they always have the seed. That's how I know oh, what it looks right. like. Sure. And <laughs> yeah. here it is like the process how to produce yeah. the coffee. Yeah. The traditional way, traditional process. So before we have machine, we do it like this. Okay. So you can see over there, it is for the roasted the coffee. Wow. So, but it is the first yeah, one that's okay. here. Mm -hmm. Now this is the cacao. Right. So it is the poo yeah. yeah. come from the animal. Okay. Yes. So yeah. the poo comes out. It is still like a whole bean. Okay. Because they cannot digest it. Oh. And the first it is we will wash them with the hot water. Uh -huh. And after we wash, we will dry under the sun. It is take time about one until the two weeks. Can I touch? Yes, it is already clean. <laughs> Don't worry, it is already clean. Yeah. And after that, we will peel out or remove the skin like this. Because the coffee bean is still protected by the lion. So the Lua coffee is so safe to drink. Because the bean they doesn't have contamination with the food or with the yeah, battery yeah, yeah. of the animal. But it's, it's so, so delicious, this coffee, really. Yes, it's so different. Can I try one to do yes, one sure. myself? So what do you pick, just like this one? Yes. For example, and then you... You take it out like yeah, here. Out. Okay. All right. And then. Okay. So we got this. Where do you put yeah, you can put somewhere yes. here? Yeah. And what do you do with and this seed after? We roasted the coffee to make the black color uh -huh. of the coffee that we roasted like. This. Oh, so you just put it inside. Yes. Put it inside. Yes. Okay. You can try it for the roasted. You can have okay. it here and okay. try the roasted coffee. Okay. How do you do? You want to show me first how to yes. do it? It is just stirring it like when you're cooking. Ah, okay. It's made of okay. My, my cooking skills are a little bit. <laughs> I know how to make salad, but... Uh, this is the traditional chicken. Uh, what chicken look like, yeah? Yeah. How long do you have to do this for? For the coffee that will be about 45 minutes. Wow. Only one hour. It's, so it's hard work. Yes. So, is it all over Indonesia that you guys make this uh, coffee from, or it's mainly in Bali? It is in Bali that we do it. So, before we have machine in Bali, we do it like this. Uh huh. And this traditional Bali means Yes, right? Bali. This is a traditional Bali okay. way of uh, roasting coffee. Love it. Okay, and what happens after? And after this, that you will get like this. It is already roasted the coffee. The color uh -huh. will change, become black oh, like yes. this. Uh, Can I smell? Yes. Oh my, this is so delicious. Mm. Wow. And after that, after we're going to be put yeah. here and we crack the wrong try. Yes. You can do it like this. Of course. <laughs> it's just for a... Maybe we can do it for my 
on my phone for Instagram or stuff. Okay. You guys make sure you check out my Instagram because I always put stories there from everything I do, like every few hours. And YouTube is only three times a week, so if you want to be more up to date, you have to check Instagram. And I have a question for you. So, um, do you guys also sell, like, can you buy this coffee from your shop to yes. ship it? Or it's just in Bali? Uh, and here we just sell here. Our product here we just sell here in our company. In your company? Yes. So you don't like send it no. outside? So you have to buy, you have to come here, yes. right? <laughs> uh, to Bali and you can buy it here. And how much can you bring abroad this coffee? If there's limits or you can just buy what you want? It's good to run. One kilo, oh, okay. Yes. Because let me smell it one more time. I wish you guys could smell this. Go then. Mm. This is the best and the most ex expensive coffee in the world. What's the name of the coffee again? Coffee Luwak. Coffee Luwak. So funny because I tried it in Dubai before I even came here. And I think it was like uh, $20 for a cup. <laughs> okay. Yes. Where are we going next? So we can see the tea okay. and coffee down there. Because it's okay. the coffee also we produce the tea as well here. Okay. You produce tea also? Yeah, they have the tea that like we have. They produce with the turmeric, ginger. Wow. The different flavors. So it's all herbal tea? Yes, it's like herbal teas. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just keep the phone, yeah. So it is the tea, yeah, you have the five kind of the tea, they have wow. the different flavor and it is the coffee. Can I smell some? Yes, please. Mm. So this is the lemon breast tea? Yeah, the lemon yeah, breast. Ginger tea? Yeah, the ginger tea. Wow, it smells really like ginger. Yeah, it's the, trash, the taste is more strong. Then you see turmeric, because turmeric is actually very inflammatory, did you yes. know? And it's good for your face. You ladies have beautiful face. Uh, thank you. <laughs> do you drink, a, do you drink a lot of this turmeric? Yes, I like uh, the yeah. turmeric tea for the tea. Yeah. And the mango steam tea uh, yeah. is so good for the skin. You look so young also. Yeah. I think it's because of the, the good, yeah. good stuff, right? Yeah. And which other tea do you like? Yeah. What's your favorite one? For the tea, uh, my favorite tea is the lemon crust tea. Lemon grass. Lemon crust. I like it also. And for the kobe, that I like the vanilla kobe and also the special one. How about kobe. Coconut, uh, coconut, coconut coconut coffee? coffee. Okay. Let's see. Wow. It's nice, right? Mm -hmm. I would add milk with this. It's already Like some. chai, yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. And this one is the like the oh like the coffee we yeah, just tried coffee and you can compare with the oh, regular coffee oh my god oh, i have goosebumps <laughs> that's the regular i'm this kind of person i really see difference because of the smell i actually am um, producing my own perfume line uh, in dubai so i see the difference when you smell mm -hmm. it's, it's like from uh, I don't want to say that thing, but from Nesquik or Nescafe, <laughs> no criticism to the to the Nestle company, but this is special. Maybe Nestle should collaborate with Lua Coffee to make it better. Wow, how can I describe the smell? It's like it's like Bali. It's just like Bali. It's rich. It's beautiful. It's aromatic. Peaceful and harmonious, like the people here. <laughs> I love it, really. I will buy a lot of this. <laughs> and you guys should come to Bali to to this place and try this coffee as well. So beautiful. Where are we off to now? <laughs> so where are we going now? So let's uh, the so you can see the nice view down there. Wow. It's really beautiful. And why is the door? Why is there a door here? It is just we have for the decoration here. So it is okay. like a Balinese door. Uh -huh. Because sometimes in some cultures the door is like the gate to heaven. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we can show this yeah. door? Beautiful. I love it. 
in the middle of the giant building store. And this is where we're gonna try our teas. So right now we are in the heart of Ubud and we're surrounded by the jungle. And as you can see guys here, there's the jackfruit. It's so huge, this one in particular. So many and uh, you can see jackfruit in a lot of vegan restaurants. And it's rich in protein and super tasty. So they make like jackfruit burgers actually even. And it's um, just here from Indonesia. And I want to show you something very special right now is the jewelry that I received from the Silver Factory in Bali. So I'm going to do the unboxing for you guys. So you guys, uh, ever since I arrived to Bali, I had a very warm welcome here by the local people. And um, actually I wanted to show you something very special that's so close to my heart. It's uh, this jewelry pieces from UC Silver uh, Factory that's located um, near, it's kind of like in Bali, like 30 minutes away from Ubud. And all the jewelry is actually locally made here in Bali uh, by the local people and they're very supporting uh, of charities and just have a very beautiful work ethic and everything is actually made from here the silver and gold is local um, and there's also precious stones in the jewelry so I want to show you what I received from them and um, yeah, here it is so first I fell in love when I saw this actually this is my friends a beautiful necklace made of silver it's here, let me just fix that it's made of silver and it actually has three precious stones attached to it in the middle as you can see there's the green topaz I believe amethyst and pearl of the ocean and what is the coolest thing about their jewelry in particular it's only made in Bali and famous for the region because it has a dragonfly here you see this is a symbol of the brand and people from all over the world come to shop these designs because dragonfly in Bali represents prosperity and auspicious energies and whenever dragonflies are out it means it's a beautiful day to harvest the rice and, ooh, and an island can be prosperous and produce its export sources so dragonfly is a symbol of flag here in Bali. That's why it's so desired by travelers from all over the world to possess these items because they're just so special. And when you come back to the Western world with your dragonfly jewelry, you just feel this calm and peaceful energy of Bali wherever you go with you. beautiful packaging. So you guys, the next items I want to show you are those matching earrings here. Let's go with the... There you go. And these are actually very special too. With baby dragonfly and with the pearls. And what we have here, it's a little bit of gold because the place produces the silver and gold. So let me show you how they look on. Super cute. Okay. <laughs> and the last thing we've got here. Oh my God, I love this cute packaging too. It's super cute. And the last thing we've got here is this beautiful <gasps> dragonfly bracelet that actually has gold in there, amethyst, and I think it's ruby. So it has two precious stones. And as you know, the amethyst is very auspicious for spirituality, and ruby brings love into your harmony and luck in your relationship and anything to do with your heart and just brings your love. So let's see if I can put it on. Yes, so gorgeous. 
so easy actually to put it on. You just slide it in here and go like this. Boom. There you go. It's on. So now I have my full set of dragonfly jewelry and I am ready to take my bath right now in the holy waters of Ubud to do another purification and I have everything that I need right now to be fully indulged in the Balinese culture. <laughs> Not five o'clock, but in Bali, there's a different five o'clock. There's no special time for the tea. There's always a good time for the tea. Am I right? Yes. yes. <laughs> so here we have the selection of all the teas that are made here in this factory, like um, called this factory, but it's really a jungle. So from my left, it's the first thing on the left here. It's the Bali coffee. And I'm going to try this one first, tell you how it tastes. Wow, amazing. It's so aromatic and it just brings me back to this Bali memory. So if you guys want to take a little bit of Bali home, make sure you try the Bali coffee. Then we have lemongrass tea. Mmm, so beautiful. Wow, this one is actually sweet. Tastes pretty sweet. Mm. I love it and over here I was really excited to try this uh, it's coconut coffee I was really looking forward to try this because it's like very special and it has some milk inside Let's go. Wow it's the first time I'm trying so something so delicious like I love it and then, okay, we have the Manogastin tea. So I assume it's like herbal or flower. Is it herb or flower? Manogastin tea. Mango stain. Oh, mango. Wow, this one is a little bit spicy. Wow, interesting. Well, over here, my friends, we've got ginger tea. Mmm, so aromatic. Mmm. It's the, wow. It's delicious and it has very strong taste. Oh, exciting. So I'm going to stick to the teas. Over here, we get mango steam tree. Wow, this smells like, reminds me of grapes, the smell. It tastes like a little bit like grapes and rhabarber, but it's really it's called mangosteen tea. Interesting. I think it's popular in Bali. Good for health. And it's good for health. Yes. But my videographers are helping me to say that it's good for health. I think everything in Bali actually is good for health. This is turmeric tea. If you guys want to have beautiful skin like me, drink the turmeric tea every day or supplement. And this one actually tastes healthy. It's not like usually like, you know, the strong turmeric taste. And the last one here, it's Rosella tea. This smells like roses, my friends. Wow. I think it's my favorite. Yeah. 
it really takes me to another world. You have one more set. Delicious, really. Wow. What the most last one. Mm -hmm. And let's go back to our coffee selection here, my friends. I just had the coconut coffee and now we have pure coca over here. Wow, this is so delicious, like chocolate. Mmm, I love it, it's like healthy chocolate. <laughs> when I like taste chocolate, I feel like a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> That's original chocolate. Yes. And then we have vanilla coffee. Oh my god, so delicious. Equally delicious, the flavor. I love it. Mmm, vanilla. I feel like I'm in Bali and in Madagascar at the same time. And the last one here, it's ginseng coffee. And I heard that ginseng has qualities to help you focus when you're preparing for something very important in your life, in work or in studies. So ginseng is very good for your brain. Wow, and it's strong too. It doesn't taste like, it's not my favorite taste, but it's healthy for sure. And this smells like a root or something, you know? And over here, something that I've been waiting for ever to try is the coffee that is actually made here. You know, remember the famous Indonesian Balinese coffee that is uh, the most expensive in the world and has the most unique taste. Luwak. So try it. Luwak coffee. Correct. First, before I have my coffees, I smell them and if it smells right, it's the thing. Divine, really divine. I really feel like I'm in the heart of the jungle right now in Bali. Definitely gonna take some home. So every time I drink it, I just close my eyes and I remember the smell, the taste, the harmony of the people here, and just bring all of this back to my home. I have these beautiful memories of Bali wherever I go with me. Thank you for watching my tea selections uh, and trying out and I hope you guys come here in this place and do your tea and coffee tasting such a beautiful place and uh, I love to see cultural places so I do have way more videos on my channel where I'm testing things from all over the world so make sure you guys check out my other travel videos and sun is coming up so we're gonna move to our next location and do the famous Bali Swing. Now it's the moment for everything that I was waiting for, the Bali swing. I've seen this in so many videos and pictures, so I can't wait to share this experience with you. Um, it's going to be super exciting. We're in the jungle and we're going to be on the Bali swing. How cool is this? Quick um, update about my outfit. So this is uh, earrings from AC Silver Factory that I'm wearing with Dragonfly. And we have a beautiful necklace that's going to be available on Anna Marisak's shop soon. As well as my bracelet it will be in my shop. And the dress I'm wearing is from my friend's boutique called by Olala.
wonderful experience. I was kind of like afraid in the beginning because I have a bit of a fear of heights. But as I just was swinging, I felt so relaxed and like just like going with the flow, let my arms go, and it was a beautiful experience in the jungle to like swing. I had a beautiful experience at the coffee plantation and the factory. I was learning how to make coffees and how the best coffee in the world is produced basically here in Bali. And then I tried like 12 different flavors of tea, which was delicious. And I think six different types of coffees. And then we did the Bali swing, which was super fun. Uh, it was kind of like challenging experience for me because I had to take over, I mean, over achieve, over overcome my fear of heights which I think I did very well with but now it's my favorite part of the day and we are off to the holy waters of Ubud uh, to take a bath there to purify my body my soul my heart and right there I will also bring my jewelry with me with precious stones and my heart chakra stone that I'm gonna put in the water to bring all that positive intention of the spiritual experience and keep it with me so it's gonna be a beautiful ceremony I really can't wait to do it and um, yes it's gonna be pretty sure wonderful because I have never done this before in Bali just in India and other places so this will be very special for me so let's go to the holy water water of a boat. So here's the beautiful monument behind me where everybody's taking pictures and we're gonna go explore the area though. Thousands of years old. Go inside yeah. the temple in Bali because it's like a traditional attire to be respectful. Uh, so this is what we wear. Thank you. You're welcome. And the temple is here. Yeah. Hi, my name is Rahdi, and I'll be the tour guide for Anna over here. So this is what we call Baipura Tirta Ampul. Okay. Our Tikta Ampul Temple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this temple is very special for most of the Balinese, especially the Hindu that live here in Bali. I'm Hindu too. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, not only for the Hindu, but for all people that believe in Hindu and uh, believe in purification mm. uh, ceremony. Because Beautiful. this place is famous for the water. Mm. Because according to the history, we do have like a history between, you know, like a battle that never ended between the bad and the good thing. And uh, here was the battle between the uh, god of Indra and Deities or devil. Where the devil tried to poison 
the troop of uh, God of uh, Indra and uh, try to kill them. Wow. Yeah, that's why the God of Indra using his uh, weapon which is an arrow mm -hmm. and a bow mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. using it creating this kind of uh, spring holy water. Wow. And that become Tirta Ampul Temple. Uh -huh. And that's why most of the Hindu here in Bali not only for the Hindu, but most of the people who believe in a purification ceremony or ritual, yeah, they come here, especially for the one who like to have like a yoga or a cleansing their energy, yeah. they come here for... Super interesting. Yeah, for cleansing. For cleansing. So, yeah, so let's go. So what did you buy here? You this is kind of offering. Yes, okay. Hindu in Bali. So what do we offer? So this is money. Yeah. So this is the offering that we have. It smells nice. I don't think I should smell. First the God smell, after you smell, right? Yes. <laughs> this is the offering that what I told you. Yes. This is the round, the round sip is that is the the, the symbol of head mm. of a universe mm -hmm. of the sun of the planet. The face also. So mm. this is uh, what we call by Chanang. Mm. Yeah. And this Chanang like uh, yeah. It has like a positive energy, yeah. and then uh, the chana itself is it's kind of a material mm -hmm. that uh, represent or symbolize mm -hmm. the Trinity. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. So Brahma for the God of Fire, I mean uh, the God who create everything. So yeah. we believe it like uh, you know the God of Fire, the God mm -hmm. of Energy, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, symbolize him as a uh, incense. And the second one will be the god of Vishnu. Yeah, Vishnu. Yeah, Vishnu is god of water. Protect the human life. Wonderful. Yes. And then that will be holy water. Okay. And holy water here. So where do we go first? And then this one is the symbol of Shiva. Ah. You know, the nature. You know, the flower. Beautiful. So let's go to let's the go. place where.
finished my bath in the holy waters here in Ubud and you guys it feels so peaceful and so full of like just just feel purity like I don't know how to describe this I feel very peaceful too and just like happy in my heart I don't know how to describe it and I also put my um, yes I also put my uh, jewelry inside the, um, you know the water so I'm very happy that I can take some of this energy and you know healing balance into um, back home with me <laughs> and uh, yeah this was a beautiful experience so when you guys are in Ubud you should definitely try this I feel so peaceful now I'm ready to share this peace with the rest of the world of the holy water if you just look down that's where the holy water comes from this hole over there and they have a sacred eel in there so in Bali you don't fish for the eel because it's secret so um, this is where the holy water is a source sources by this temple and look at the beautiful peaceful jungle also right there it's just so beautiful So guys, um, so you can see so much beautiful nature in Bali at every time. There's these beautiful flowers, I just want to look at it and smell it. I don't think it because I feel like in Bali it's important to take care of the nature and preserve it and keep it natural. So it's so beautiful. And I just think like nature is so important, it's so relaxing. So every time you are somewhere in a stressful situation, just close your eyes. Pick a flower next to you and just smell it. And feel the peace and love again. So simple. I love this fresh breeze coming and I feel so purified after my bath, guys. Like it's just such an amazing feeling. I'm very sad to leave Bali because I'm actually leaving on Monday, which is in two days. And this whole trip was just so fascinating and healing and so just nice to here. And this jungle really and everything that's here it just makes it so special. The whole atmosphere. And I'm just like everywhere I go, I'm just like surrounded by the beauty and I just don't know where to look. It's so beautiful. So you guys must visit Bali because it's one of those beautiful islands it's definitely special so thank you so much for watching um, and enjoying my journey today it was a beautiful day <laughs> definitely and um, you guys I as you know I have so many travel videos so make sure you check them out there's one series from Mexico from Africa where I'm doing charity work so it's just you know check it out subscribe to my channel Give this video a like and support my team here in Bali. My videographer took um, this video, so there's his link down below. You can book him in Bali. And there's also Radhi, the driver, who helped me a lot. He's got both, um, knows a lot of spaces, he speaks English, and he also um, is very good with pictures and videos. So he can help you with your phone. And if you need professional content, make sure you contact Kendall also for videography. So thank you guys for watching. And this was Anna Marsteks from Bali.